So I remember a few years back, I was looking to transcribe a few of my YouTube videos into a blog post, right? I wanted to have some sort of script for the YouTube videos that I could upload to the YouTube videos so that people could, you know, read the correct thing. And then also I was going to upload it as a blog post as well. And so I looked at a bunch of different sites out there and most of them honestly were really bad, especially the ones that were cheap. And I realized there really is a lot of value to finding a good transcriptionist. And then I looked into it a little bit further and I saw that there were a lot of transcriptionist freelancers out there that make really good money. So for instance, if you look on Glassdoor, you're gonna see transcriptionists make $67,000 a year. If you look on Upwork, you're gonna see that a lot of transcriptionists make over $60 an hour, like Charlene, who's earned over $7,000, and Javier, who's earned over 100,000. And keep in mind, $63 an hour in Colombia is like $500 an hour in the United States. But another great thing about being a transcriptionist is the fact that you can get paid right away. Typically, all these different transcription websites will pay you at the end of the week or in some cases at the end of two weeks. So if you're somebody who needs money right now, transcriptionist is not something you have to go to college for or get a lot of training for. You can sign up to one of these websites and a lot of the time you'll get money within a week. And then once you have some experience with the different transcription websites, you can become a freelancer and make even more money. But I'll be honest with you, a lot of these different websites don't provide high quality products and they also don't pay their writers very well. And so I did a ton of research and I figured out which ones were the best. And number five on the list is going to be three play media. So on three play media, you can make about 10 to $30 an hour. So you do have to be able to type 75 words per minute and you can get paid extra if you're bilingual. So if you're somebody who speaks English and Spanish, for instance, and there is a training with a test that you have to do in order to get accepted. But with that being said, this is a really good one to start off with. And typically they're gonna hire you on a project based basis. So some big project will pop up and you'll have a lot of work. And then other times of the year where it's a little more quiet, you might not have nearly as much. And that's why a lot of different transcriptionists will actually work for multiple different companies. Number four on the list is going to be ubiquitous. So this one is especially good if you are a US resident. And the reason for that is because Ubiquus only hires people from the US. Now, most of my audience is from the US, so you're probably in luck if you're watching this. But the great thing about that is it gives you a competitive advantage because a lot of these other websites will hire people from outside of the US. You do have to have a computer, of course, you have to be able to supply your own cell phone as well as internet connection. Now, this is going to be the least high paying one on the list. Typically, they make about seven to $14 an hour, but it is a really good option if you need to just get a job right away. The next one on the list is going to be Transcription Divas. Now this is one that does have very high standards. So you do have to be pretty good at transcription in order to get a job with them. But with that being said, they pay anywhere from 12 to $45 an hour. And if you type really fast, you can even do higher than that. And this is one where they are going to interview and they will actually test you during the interview itself. So they'll basically, you know, you'll be on a phone call with them and you'll have to transcribe in live time. The next one on the list is going to be Averbach transcription. Now this is one that does require you to have a little bit of experience. But with that being said, if you're good, you're good, right? If they get on the phone with you and you're able to do the work, they're probably going to hire you. So you basically have to pass a skills test where you're going to transcribe five minutes of audio and you have to be able to do it within 25 minutes. That's actually not as stringent as some of the other companies on the list. So they're actually pretty reasonable. But with that being said, you do have to have a high level of accuracy and you can't really mess up all that often. And you can expect to make about 20 to $30 an hour as a transcriptionist working for them. And I'll be honest with you, there really is a ceiling on how much you can make as a transcriptionist. Like if you're super fast, you might make like 40 to $50 an hour, but it is kind of mind numbing work. And you get to a certain point where you can't get that much better. Like maybe you could get 5% better at best, but you're not going to be able to like double or triple your income. So this is one of those things where if you need the money right now, you need it really quickly, you can get into this type of career. But I really recommend getting into a career where there's a lot more vertical and horizontal opportunity like digital marketing. I've talked about digital marketing quite a few times on my channel. There's a 16 year old, for instance, that I interviewed that was able to get into digital marketing. And if you want to learn more about it, there is a really good free masterclass that I highly recommend that you check out. I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment. The number one company to work for on this list is going to be eScribers. So the reason that eScribers is so lucrative is because it's technically a legal transcription business, right? So you're going to be transcribing a lot of legal documents. 
but really they don't care if you have legal experience or not. They just want to make sure that you're very accurate and good. And when it comes to legal concerns, a lot of the times these things have to be transcribed really fast. And so they really prefer to have a bunch of different people who are sort of on deck, on call waiting to get jobs but they typically pay really well like a lot of the time you're going to be making at least 20 to 30 dollars an hour and this is one of the ones that's easier to get into so like i said uh transcription can be a really good one it's super super easy to get into it doesn't really require that much skill or experience but with that being said this is kind of a dead end job and a dead end skill you sort of reach a point where you're pretty much as good as you can get when it comes to typing and after that you're not going to learn all that much from it. So I highly recommend doing something like digital marketing where you're learning valuable skills and there's so many different directions you can go and so much opportunity. Check out that interview with the 16 year old who was able to make $40,000 a year working 30 hours a week right here. Go ahead, gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. especially if you have experience as a transcriptionist and I will see you next time.